Hello everybody, I hope you are all doing well. In this video I'm going to talk a bit about painting digital master studies and also offer some tips on how to go about them. I've liked the work of Alphonse Mucha for quite some time now. I really like his illustrative, stylized, figurative drawings and paintings and use of flowing lines in his work. But not so long ago, I came across some of his realistic paintings. I was quite surprised because I had no idea he had painted like this. Considering he was famous for his illustrative Art Nouveau posters and illustrations. And there I saw one of his Slavic epic paintings and I knew that I wanted to paint it. Well, some of it at least, as these paintings were immense in size and scale and it probably took Muka months to paint by himself. I decided I wanted to paint a digital study of one of his figures in the painting. One of the women in the scene who was adorning some of the traditional Slavic clothing and natural decorations. I took a close-up screenshot of this particular section of the painting and took it into Photoshop where I decided I would paint the study. So first up, here are the tips. Tip number one, decide what you like about the master painting. I decided early on that I really wanted to paint this particular figure because I really liked the vibrant colours and spring-like feel to her clothing and decorations and also for the vibrant colours that Muka painted in her face. I chose to isolate this figure and ignore the rest of the painting even though I like many of the elements and the painting as a whole. Tip number two, draw and paint 100% in Photoshop. After I took the screenshot and opened it in Photoshop, I went ahead to sketch in the figure first using a dark grey colour and any Photoshop brush will do for this and set it to opacity. This closely resembled an initial pencil drawing. You could always sketch the master study first, take a photo of it or scan it into your computer if you wanted to paint on top of that, but personally I prefer to do the entire digital master study from scratch in Photoshop. By doing so the process seems more natural, more fluid and generally a bit faster than having to clean up the initial pencil sketch or trace over it. Tip 3. Don't get caught up in the details. Now this study I would still consider a loose master study as I haven't spent countless hours making sure that I've got every single little brush stroke in the correct place, the exact correct colour and it painted exactly as Muka has. That's not the point of this painting. The point is to learn from a small section of his work, his vibrant colour choices on the figure and to add something unique at least at the end. In order to go about this, it's best to keep as far zoomed out as possible in the early stages. This should help you to avoid getting lost in the tiny strokes. If it is your intention to paint a highly detailed study, then you can paint such details towards the end. Tip number four, keep it simple. Artists who like to paint digitally or new artists who want to try it out can get overwhelmed of all of the options digital software offers the artist to draw and paint with. My advice here is to just keep it simple. Choose one to three brushes that you like to draw and paint with the most and stick to those. To be further disciplined, keep to one brush for the entire process. You can get just as good a result of a digital master study by doing so. Tip number five, don't just blindly copy, think. The trap we can all fall into when painting digital master studies is to go on a kind of autopilot mode where we don't really think about what we are doing and don't analyze why certain colors appear how they appear or why certain brush strokes are laid down how they are. We should approach digital master studies and traditional master studies consciously. Think to yourself, why did he make that choice? Did this improve the painting? Why does this colour appear so vibrant next to this one? Why did he paint such vibrant colours in her face? We can learn much more from the process when we ask ourselves such questions and seek to find the answer, instead of just copying what we see without being fully present and conscious. We want to become great artists, not great copying machines. Tip number six, set yourself a time limit. 
as this master study wasn't about capturing and understanding all of the minute details of the painting, I wanted to paint a master study that was still relatively loose and one that I could achieve in about half the time or less of a more finely detailed painting. In order to make sure that you stay focused and to achieve the best result, I think it's best to set yourself a time limit and decide first how long you want to spend on that painting. Tip 7. Add your own creativity. Once you approach the end of your master study, you might decide to have further fun with it by adding some unique and decorative elements to the painting. I decided to paint in some tree branches that frame the study against the grey background. I took inspiration from the larger painting itself and also Mooka's decorative Art Nouveau style in general. Throughout the master study, I make sure I select the colours I choose on the colour palette, which I think most closely resemble the colours used by Mooka himself, and continue to render and paint in the layers around the painting until I'm satisfied with the results. Finally, I zoom into the painting slightly and paint a little bit more of the woman's face towards the end and some of the vibrant colours until I've decided that I'm done. And that is it. Just a quick final note on the tablet I'm painting on. It's a simple old school Wacom Inchios 3, which I bought second hand online for about £25. This tablet works very well for me and I've been using it for years now. The model itself is actually more than 20 years old. It just shows that you don't need a fancy setup for digital painting to get started. Thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you all and I'll see you all next time.